Life Audio. Teach Us to Pray is brought to you by Life Audio and is a part of our Faith Toolkit series. For more inspirational, faith-affirming podcasts, visit lifeaudio.com. Has worry and anxiety got the best of you this week? Have you been anxiously up at night worrying about all the things that are going on in your life? One thing that I've learned about worry is that it is essentially the opposite of prayer. Prayer is when we take our thoughts to God and we take our problems and our issues to Him. Worry, on the other hand, is just taking them to ourselves and thinking of worst case scenarios. And it is never fruitful for a Christian, which is why the Bible tells us not to be anxious and not to worry. Instead, we are instructed to pray. So in today's episode, I'm going to share with you how to turn your worries into prayers. Traveling to the Holy Land will be one of the most amazing trips of your life. Walking the same steps that Jesus did is an overwhelming and powerful experience that you will never forget. It's time to go visit the birthplace of the Bible. For more information, go to holyland.israel.travel. Israel, exactly like nowhere else. This podcast is supported by Morgan Stanley. At Morgan Stanley, we see the world with the wonder of new eyes helping you discover untapped possibilities and relentlessly working with you to make them real. Because grit and vision working in lockstep puts you on the path to your full potential. Old school grit, new world ideas. Morgan Stanley. To learn more, visit morganstanley.com slash why us. Investing involves risk. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney LLC. Welcome back, friend. You are listening to the Teach Us to Pray podcast, where we teach believers practical and real life tips on how to grow your faith and relationship with God through the power of prayer. I'm Christina Patterson, host of the Teach Us to Pray podcast and founder of Beloved Women, where I have the honor of encouraging, equipping, and empowering women in the love of Jesus Christ and the truth of God's word. Just this week, I was feeling very overwhelmed and anxious, honestly, about just some things that were going on in my life. And normally, I can handle when anxiety comes, and I'm able to just pray, and I have different ways of overcoming just the normal day-to-day worry and anxiety that life presents. But this week was particularly different, and the anxiety and the worry just was starting to feel overwhelming to the point where I was like, okay, I can't carry this on my own. And God was just so gracious this week to give me a day where the kids were home. They had a teacher work day, so I didn't have to get up early and I could just really just go at my own pace and just process my thoughts and my feelings and what was going on. But the greatest gift was that I had the opportunity to speak to two of my best friends. And so just that slower paced day gave me a chance to have some time to just talk to my friends and just confess to them what was on my mind and what was going on and just allowed for me to just share my burdens with my sisters in Christ, which are like real life sisters to me. And one of my friends, she prayed for me after our conversation and she prayed that my worries would be turned into prayers. And it was just such a good reminder to instead of obsessing over all that could possibly go wrong or all the what if scenarios that keep us up at night to turn those thoughts in to prayers. And this is exactly what the Bible instructs us to do. And Philippians 4 verses 6 through 7 tells us, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. If you need your heart and your mind to be guarded this week because anxiety and worry is just knocking on the door, this scripture gives us the prescription to cure us of our anxiety and worry and fear that often comes into our lives. And that is prayer. 
But specifically, I want to share with you just the three steps that we can take to turn our worried thoughts into prayers to our God. And the first step that we need to take is to pray in the first place. Like I shared with you earlier, worry is just meditating on the wrong things. And if you can meditate and think and obsess on the wrong things, then we just need to flip the switch in our brains and turn those thoughts into thinking about the right things and to focusing our mind on God. The Bible tells us that those who keep their mind on God will have his perfect peace. And so there is power in us praying to God and talking to him instead of just being in our minds and talking to ourselves and even talking to everybody else, especially if we're just venting and complaining and It's not helping us in any way by only pointing out the problems, by only pointing out what could go wrong or what is going wrong. But when we're still enough to get in the presence of the Lord and to just talk to him, it helps us to start shifting our mind from meditating on what's bad to meditating on God and keeping our minds stayed on him as the scripture tells us, so that we can then receive his peace. And so what I've been doing is I've just been using my worried thoughts as prayer points for what to talk to God about. So instead of worrying about my health and something bad that might happen, I just pray to God that he would make me healthy. Instead of worrying about my children and what might happen to them or being afraid of them going to school that day or whatever might happen, worry might be going on in my head. I just pray that God would be a hedge of protection over them. Instead of worrying about an upcoming trip, I'm praying now for protection and God to keep me as I travel. Do you see what I'm doing here? Instead of worrying, I am taking my request to God and I'm asking for him to do what my worries cannot do. And so then that means that instead of worrying about it, I'm inviting God and his power and his strength and his protection and his provision into it. The truth is, if we have time to worry, then we have time to pray. And why would we worry if we can pray? And we can pray. We are blessed to be able to confidently go before God in prayer anytime that we want. And so I want to encourage you this week to catch yourself in your worried thoughts, to catch yourself in your anxious thoughts. And when you realize that that's the rabbit hole that your mind is going down, to turn around, to turn to God and to pray to him. But the scripture also tells us that we should be prayerful with thanksgiving. So then those prayers aren't just God do this, God, can you do this? Can you make this happen? Can you make sure this doesn't happen? It's helping us to be present and realizing what God is doing in this moment and being thankful for that. Worry causes us to forget that not only is God in control, but that he's been in control. He's been protecting us. He's been taking care of us. He's been providing for us. And as we thank him for that, we have no space in our minds to allow worry to control our thoughts. Many years ago, I had to have surgery, and I remember the night before my surgery, I was so worried and anxious, but I knew to take those worries and anxieties to God. And I was by my bed, on my knees, just crying and praying out to God, and I was anxiously praying to Him, and I remember just God speaking to me through the Holy Spirit and saying, Christina, didn't I take care of you yesterday? And I said, yeah. And the Holy Spirit just gently asking me, did I take care of you today? And I said, yeah. And then God just asking me, well, then don't you think I'm going to take care of you tomorrow too? See, I was making the day of surgery bigger than it really was. God is bigger than the surgery that I was going to go through. God is bigger than what may happen tomorrow. And he reminded me that if I took care of you yesterday and if I'm taking care of you today, it doesn't matter what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm going to take care of you then too. And so then I was encouraged to stop worrying and start 
thanking God. Start coming to God with my prayers, but also with my gratitude. And I want to encourage you to do that because thanksgiving and gratitude is a powerful force to defeat anxiety and worry. That's why the scripture tells us that we come to God with prayer, with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving. It says, make your request known to God. And sometimes when we have anxiety and worry, we're really afraid sometimes to even talk about it. We're afraid to cast our cares before God. We're afraid that if we say it out loud, it might actually happen. But God is bigger than our words. He's bigger than our needs. He's bigger than our worries and our anxieties. And we need to get real with God. Traveling to the Holy Land will be one of the most amazing trips of your life. Walking the same steps that Jesus did is an overwhelming and powerful experience that you will never forget. It's time to go visit the birthplace of the Bible. For more information, go to holyland.israel.travel. Israel, exactly like nowhere else. This podcast is supported by Morgan Stanley. What do you get from the Morgan Stanley Client Experience? Listening more than talking and a personalized plan to guide you through a changing world. To learn more, visit morganstanley.com slash why us. Investing involves risk. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney LLC. We want to make prayer like it's this fluffy little light little thing that we do that's just kind of nice to do to be polite and proper in our relationship with God. But I think about Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, and that was not a polite prayer. Jesus was praying so fervently to God, so honest and authentic in his prayer and request to God that he cried tears of blood. But he was real with God. He presented his request to God. The Bible tells us to cast our cares on God. And so One thing that we need to do is to allow our worry and our anxiety to lead our prayers, to show us and act as indicators of what we need to be praying about, not to rule us, but we can take those requests to God. We can take those worries and anxieties to him, and we should, and we should leave them at his throne. And when we do, the Bible says that the peace of God which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. And it's that word guard there, right? It's it's like anxiety and worry is attacking us. It doesn't come to help us, right? We think sometimes that, oh, my anxiety is helping me to just be cautious and aware of all the bad things that are going on in the world. And there is a type of necessary healthy anxiety so that our senses are heightened when there's a threat. <laughs> but. Many times our anxieties and worries never come to pass and they're actually just a waste of our time and our energy. Dr. Tony Evans says, and I'm paraphrasing here, but he says that our worries and anxieties are like holding up an umbrella when it's not raining. And so we need to guard our minds and our hearts from those types of thoughts. And we can do that when we turn our worries into prayers. Did you know that God made us all beautifully different even in the way that we pray? That's right. Your prayer personality is the unique way you are most likely to communicate with God. And knowing which of the three prayer personality types you have can equip you to hear from God more clearly and overcome any obstacles to your communication with Him. I invite you to take my prayer personality quiz to learn how you best hear from God, how you most likely connect with Him in prayer, and just to have a little fun. Take the quiz now at prayquiz.com or find the link in the show notes for today's show. It is my hope that today's episode provided you with insight and helpful tips on how you can pray. We have so much more to talk about when it comes to prayer. So I hope that if you were encouraged by today's episode, you will share it with a friend, leave a positive review and subscribe so that you don't miss any future episodes of the Teach Us to Pray podcast, where we will continue to learn 
how just like breathing, prayer can become a natural, consistent, and life-giving part of our everyday lives. Until then, be sure to connect with me at BelovedWomen.org and check out the show notes to download my free five-day prayer guide. I also want to invite you to study the Bible with me by downloading the Beloved Women app, available now in the Apple or Google Play stores or at BelovedWomen.tv. Thank you so much for taking time to listen today. God bless you, and I'll talk to you in the next episode. Teach Us to Pray is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. This podcast is supported by Morgan Stanley. At Morgan Stanley, we see the world with the wonder of new eyes, helping you discover untapped possibilities and relentlessly working with you to make them real. Because grit and vision working in lockstep puts you on the path to your full potential. Old school grit, new world ideas. Morgan Stanley. To learn more, visit morganstanley.com slash why us. Investing involves risk. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC.